Yep, you heard it. Shave it off. An oncology nurse at Children's Medical Center of Dallas has raised thousands of dollars for children with cancer. Thanks to that video you saw and a very bold promise. Lindsay Budden joins us this morning. Thank you so much for being here, Good first morning. of all. The video was great. You took Taylor Swift's song um, and along with your colleagues, changed up the words that shake it off and you turned it to shave it off. And that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to be shaving your head, huh? Yes, ma'am, this Saturday. Wow. So how did this come about? Um, I know several people that have been involved with the St. Baldrick's organization in the past, and so that's how I caught wind of it. Um, I'm a pediatric oncology nurse at Children's Medical Center in Dallas, and so I am kind of the front line of defense for these kiddos, and I see every day how it affects them and their families. Uh, yeah. First of all, thank you for the work you do. I know you do great work. Um, so you actually had a coworker, another female coworker, mm -hmm. who did this last year, and, and so you decided you are gonna follow her in her footsteps. Yeah, I was impressed by her bravery to do it, yeah. um, so it inspired me to take a stand and do it this year. So you're gonna be doing this on Saturday. You then came up with the idea to make the video, right? <laughs> what, what happened there? kind of joking around one day at work and um, changed the lyrics up a little bit and I was like, hey, this could be something. Nowadays, things go viral and, and awareness happens. And boy, it has. Your goal in the beginning of this was to raise $3,000. And what are you up to tonight? I'm almost to 11000 So you started wanting 3000 and you're up yes. to almost 11000 yes. now. Wow, that is amazing. What do you hope happens with this money? So St. Baldrick strictly donates um, to fund research grants for children's medical or for children's cancer research. Mm -hmm. And so all the money that I donate will go to fund grants so that we can hopefully one day have better treatments for these kids. And, and you, you mentioned that in your, your treatment with the kids, you know, and they lose their hair. It's not just the girls that, that no. feel, you know, a little different. It's, it's the guys too mm -hmm. that come in there that, you know, that, that losing your hair is just kind of part of it. And, and that's the hard part for a lot of people too because it just changes their look. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first question families usually ask when they find out that their child has cancer is one, what is the prognosis? And the mm -hmm. second one is always, when are they gonna lose their hair? Yeah. That is such a hard thing for even boys um, to go through. Yeah. And so I think me shaving my head is just an opportunity for me to say, hey, I'm fighting this fight with you. Um, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, are you ready for the bald look? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? It's definitely going to cut your uh, your getting ready time in the morning yes. down a little bit, huh? Yes. Yeah. What do you think the uh, the patients at Children's will say when you walk in there Monday morning with? All I your think hair a lot of them will be shocked um, that I went to such great lengths, but I think they'll be very appreciative and. Yeah. And thankful. Oh, definitely. And we should mention it's not just you that's doing that. There's gonna be like what 50 people with mm -hmm. you on Saturday doing the exact same yes, thing. Ma wow, nice to see. We're gonna put um, all the information, by the way. Hopefully we can get that up over 11,000 now. <laughs> uh, on our website, more information about St. Baldrick's Foundation as well, fox4news.com. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. And you're going to send us photos, right? Absolutely. Okay, so on Monday on Good Day, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look <laughs> see and what, see what's under all this hair. <laughs> you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. Thank you so much.